Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to discuss three special cases when the transmission line is being connected to the load. So, let us discuss about the case number one. When the line is short circuited. So, when there is a short circuit line, then the load impedance dated ZL is equal to 0. So, first of all, for the short circuit line, we will calculate the input impedance. Since we know that the expression for input impedance is equal to Z input that is equal to Z0 ZL plus J Z0 tan beta L over Z0 plus J ZL tan beta L now, since we know that ZL is equal to 0, so on substituting ZL equals to 0, the input impedance Z input will now become Z0 0 plus J Z0 tan beta L over Z0 plus 0. On simplifying we get Z input that is equal to J Z naught tan beta L. So this is the expression for input impedance when there is a short circuited line. Now from this we can analyze that the input impedance of the short circuit line is purely reactive. Now let us calculate the reflection coefficient when the line is short circuited. Since the reflection coefficient is denoted by this symbol and is given as ZL minus Z0 over ZL plus Z0. Now we know that for the short circuit line ZL is equals to 0. So on substituting ZL is equals to 0 the reflection coefficient will become 0 minus Z0 over 0 plus Z0. On simplifying, the value of reflection coefficient will become minus 1. Now, let's calculate the value of VSWR for the short circuit line. So our third point is calculation of VSWR for short circuit line. Since the expression for VSWR is given as 1 plus mod of the reflection coefficient over 1 minus mod of reflection coefficient. Since we calculated the value of reflection coefficient is equal to minus 1. So on substituting the reflection coefficient's value, here we have to remember that the reflection coefficient value is minus 1. So its mod will become 1 only, not minus 1, because we are taking the mod here. 
on substituting the mod of reflection coefficient equals to 1 here we get VHWR equals to 1 plus 1 over 1 minus 1 so VHWR will be equals to infinite so this is the final value for VHWR when the line is short circuited now let us discuss about the second case that is open circuited so when the line is open circuited then the load impedance that is ZL will become infinite now let us discuss about the input impedance when the line is open circuited so here is input impedance since the expression for input impedance that is Zn is equal to Z0 ZL plus J Z0 tan beta L over Z0 plus J Z L tan beta L and since we know that for the open circuited line the value of ZL is infinite so the expression of Z input can also be written as on taking ZL common from numerator it can be become 1 plus J Z0 over ZL tan beta L and similarly we take ZL common from the denominator part also it become Z0 over ZL plus J tan beta L since ZL is equal to infinite that's why the modified equation of input impedance will become this ZL will be cancelled out with this ZL so 1 plus this whole term will become 0 and this term will become 0 plus j tan beta l now this will become z input equals to z0 over j tan beta l on removing this imaginary term that is j we have to cross multiply it with numerator as well as denominator so z input will become j z0 and the multiplication of j into j will become minus 1 and it is tan beta l we can also write it as z input is equals to minus j z0 cot beta l so this is the final expression for the input impedance when the line is open circuited now let us discuss about the reflection coefficient when the line is open circuited since we know that the reflection coefficient is given as ZL minus Z0 over ZL plus Z0 on taking the ZL as a common then the reflection coefficient will become ZL 1 minus Z0 over ZL similarly from the denominator we take ZL common so it become 1 plus Z0 over ZL since we know that ZL is equals to infinite on substituting ZL equals to infinite in this expression 
the deflection coefficient will become this ZL will get cancelled out with this ZL and here 1 minus 0 over 1 plus 0 so the reflection coefficient will be equals to 1 only so this is the expression for reflection coefficient now let's calculate the value of VSWR when the line is open circuited see the normal expression for the VSWR is equals to one plus mod of reflection coefficient over one minus mod of reflection coefficient and recently we calculated the value of reflection coefficient that is equals to one only so on substituting the value of reflection coefficient in the expression of VSWR it become one plus one over one minus one so finally VSWR value become infinite so this is the value of VSWR now let us finally discuss the third case that is when the line is perfectly meshed so when the line is perfectly meshed then here is a condition that is the load impedance become equals to the characteristic impedance that is ZL is equals to Z0 now let us calculate the input impedance in case when the line is perfectly meshed since we know that the formula for the input impedance is equals to Z0 ZL plus J Z0 tan beta L over Z0 plus J ZL tan beta L now on substituting ZL equals to Z0 in this formula we get Z input equals to Z0 in place of ZL we simply write Z0 so Z0 plus J Z0 tan beta L over Z0 plus J Z0 tan beta L so the numerator and the denominator is same so it will cancel out and finally the input impedance become equals to the characteristic impedance that is Z input is equals to Z0 now let us find out the reflection coefficient for the case when the line are perfectly matched so the reflection coefficient is given as ZL minus Z0 over ZL plus Z0 since ZL is equals to Z0 so we simply substitute Z0 in place of ZL so the reflection coefficient will become Z0 minus Z0 over Z0 plus Z0 so the final expression will become 0 the reflection coefficient is equals to 0 when the line is perfectly matched now let us discuss about the third thing that is VSWR since we know that the VSWR 
in terms of reflection coefficient is given as 1 plus mod of VHWR over 1 minus mod of VHWR and we also evaluated the value of VHWR equals to 0 so on substituting the value of VHWR since we calculated the value of reflection coefficient equals to 0 so we substitute the value of reflection coefficient in this formula so 1 plus 0 over 1 minus 0 so VHWR will become 1 only so this is the final value of VHWR when the line is perfectly matched so in this way we discussed all the three cases of the transmission line thank you